Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by A.G. Hines Company. For more than a century, East Tennessee's biggest construction companies, do-it-yourselfers, like you, have gotten their supplies and their tools from A.G. Hines Company right in downtown Knoxville. Gordon Hines and his family are down there and they take great pride in what they do. And you will take great pride in the do-it-yourself project that you do if you start that project at A.G. Hines Company. You see the phone number and you can also visit them online, aghines.com. Okay, take a look here at uh, the difference 20 years makes. In 2003, when we launched this show, football had no spread offense. You know, certainly Urban Meyer was the first to bring that into the SEC, and we all thought, you know, that's not going to work here. Well, now everybody runs some variation of spread. There was no super hurry up like Tennessee runs at the moment. Linebackers were still big because you didn't have the things above that. Uh, run game and defense were the kings. There was no constant nickel, which is basically what everybody lives in now. And with that, there was no hybrid strong safety linebacker. You can call him a jack, a spur, whatever your star. <laughs> yeah, whatever star. Money. Everybody's got a different, different name for it. In basketball, centers were still wanted. Yeah. Now you just don't see that many centers. Uh, you, you used to have difference, difference in players. Now everything that is a certain type of player is just called a wing. Uh, Three-pointers weren't constant, which, I mean, that's gone up about five per team over the last 20 years, five extra threes uh, per team, so you're 10 per game that you see more of. Uh, and the shot clock was 35 seconds instead of 30. So here's my question, and you can answer it one at a time or both, whichever the way you, you feel here. Are these sports better now than when we launched, or are they worse? And there, there's, if we say worse, there is the, the, uh, the side effect that comes with that, that Old, you're old. <laughs> so that admitted that we're old. Uh, is it better or worse? Get off my gridiron. That's right. Um, <laughs> I think football's better because I like the variety. I like watching hurry up. I like watching some pro sets. I like watching the wishbone that Army and Air Force run. I like the variety of college football. So I, I think it's better. I like the way they mix things up. It's an, an entertaining. And yes, you have more offense. You got more scoring going on. But I like the way the, the game has evolved because I, I probably appreciate a higher scoring game than a lower scoring game. But just the variety is what attracts me. Okay. Too bad That's, you don't get to see Army this year. <laughs> <laughs> what, don't you think, I, I, I agree with a lot of that. And, and football I think is better. And I think it even has filtered down to high school because I think these types of offensive gives more teams the chance to win. We don't know we can line up man-to-man -man and run the ball. Well, let's just snap we'll, it to our best player. Yeah, let's, let's just, yeah, well, let's spread the field, isolate this, kind of like what Steve Spurrier used to do a lot in my mind. Basketball, I don't think it's, you know, to me it doesn't seem better. And, it, and, and the other thing I would say real quickly is, boy, how has this impacted the length of the games on you know, some of the stuff, just all of the passes and all of the, you know, all, all of that going on and then the clock stopped. And the, it, Games we, run over. I would say football is better except for one thing. It will be better when someone figures out, and I don't mean the, to stuff it for Tennessee. What I mean is somebody that can, that can come up with a defense for the super hurry up that isn't faking injuries. Right. That's fading, what I was yeah. hoping you were going to say if, because that's, yeah. that's, that's you, what I want to say. The fainting goats of Ole Miss. If you stop the fainting goats, <laughs> yes, exactly. then, then I will be happier and say football has improved. But right now, I think that's a huge step back that – Everybody just grabs their hamstring and falls over uh, when another team is going hurry up on them. Uh, I don't think basketball is better, though. I, the analytics have taken over, in my view. Just, And I, I fear that's – everybody thinks they're Steph Curry, and they're not. <laughs> so yes, one. That's, to, watch, to watch somebody clang up 25, 30, 35 threes in a game, if you're hitting them, that's one thing. If you're missing them all, it also makes the game wildly streaky. It's a much streakier game now than it was. You, the shorter shot clock is added to that as well. Mm -hmm. Bob, better, worse? One better, one worse? Where are you? So much worse. Both? <laughs> oh, basketball. Oh, yeah, oh. It, no. Old, old, old. <laughs> Football. I mean, some of this garbage is almost unwatchable to me. I'm sorry. I mean, 42 to 43. Yeah, who cares? I mean, to I me, <laughs> seven, seven you're to, playing the role seven, of Grumpus. Seven you to are. six could have been very an inter a very entertaining football game. You don't have to score. But here's the reason I don't like the way football has gone. It is almost if you've got the quarterback yeah. and you can give the quarterback enough time to throw it, then you're going to be a really good football team. And if you look back in Tennessee's recent history, beyond where we've been, you had good quarterbacks, Andy but Kelly. you didn't have – 
Bingo. Andy Kelly. Well, Jeff Francis is another yeah, one. I, I think, you know, Casey Clawson's another one. You went 11 and 1 with Sterling and Andy Kelly. Yes. I mean, those were good and, quarterbacks, but they weren't. And they were very different. In, in the game different. you've yeah. got now, I think it hinges so much on the quarterback that it just throws the rest of it kind point. of for a loop. If you've got a decent mm -hmm. offensive line, and a great quarterback. Yeah, there's no You're way contender. you can win a national championship Boy. with a walk-on quarterback. Oh, wait, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't miss right. their defense. That that's, 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 that's what I was about to say. <laughs> what was different between that list? Georgia's defense. Yeah. You know, which mm -hmm. was just, uh, who knows if you can repeat that defense again since they had what? I think 72 first-round yeah. draft picks. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, yeah. so no, I think, I think it's gotten worse from just the standpoint of you're more reliable on that first guy has to be. Look at the difference between Tennessee with Hendon Hooker and Joe Milton. All right. I mean, if Hooker gets hurt this year. Let me get you know, one comment from Mike. Better, worse, football, basketball, whichever way you want to go. Or it's both. It's – it's just different. It, it's not better. You're cavalarizing the question. I, I, I don't. I don't know if it's worse, but it's it's not better. It's different. Yeah. Okay. I, you know who'd be good? It's I could. Since I could. If you hadn't put up that chart, I've been watching so much the way it is now. I couldn't remember what it was like in 2003. Well, I had to go back and look it up. Some <laughs> yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, ask but some of to, it was immediate. To yeah. Ask this to Nick Saban and Rick Barnes, and see what they say. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, do you remember what the football postseason was like in 2003? Uh -huh. um, BCS versus playoffs, mm -hmm. several bowls versus a million bowls. Is it better now? Let's discuss. Come on back on the sports horse. <laughs>